What is up guys? So I'm Lucifer back again, also known as the Black Gentleman. And today I'm bringing you a, another custom from uh, Ninja Master K. I'm going to have a link to his channel right here below. And uh, this isn't the first time he's done a custom for me. And uh, it's, I, th I think this is like number four? Number Maybe, maybe number five? I think it's number four. Let's say four. But yeah. I'm sure my thumbnail will read what actual number I'm on with him. But uh, yeah, this is another custom he did for me. A while back, I actually sold my um, Skywarp from a Siege line because uh, it was going for an exceeding amount of money. Trust me, it was just a seeker. <laughs> but people weren't paying a lot for that seeker, so I ended up selling mine. And by selling it, it left a void in my collection, so I needed another Skywarp. So uh, I hit him up. He said, yeah, I can do you one real easy. So I just bought a shelf warmer thundercracker because Walmart had plenty of them at the time and uh this is what he came up with um he kept a, a, a he kept a lot of the not a lot of it, but a bit of the weathering that the original had but it just kind of made it honestly blended in and made it look better i know traditionally uh sky warp i think it all in here is like gray but we kind of agreed to do, do something a little different in my opinion even better so he kept kind of the kind of a black he started off with, with, with a nice black I think he didn't even went inside and just dry brush it all. And I think it, I think it all looks really nice. It looks real cohesive. While he still kept the purple in the cockpit area here. And even here, uh, the purple as you can see in the hands right here, or it's the forms. He went inside there and made that purple and just dry brushed that. And everything looks kind of worn to it. Even the uh, the uh, no rays himself have a nice nice bit of dry brushing. Turn around to the back here. Only thing missing from this is actually the Septicon symbols, which I actually need to add. I keep forgetting to do that. But uh, yeah, even the bat looks really nice. As, uh, to me, in my personal opinion, if you're gonna do weathering, this is how I do it. Looks top. In my opinion, looks top notch. Even here in the legs, I think Skywarp's feet are traditionally just purple, but I told him go ahead and keep it most, mostly black. So I think he did do purple overall, but just took, uh, took, I, think, I think he took black to dry brush it. And it looks good, even here in the shin here. It looks nice. Also on the knee. One thing about one thing about him, um, when it comes to taking liberties, I let him go for it, because it always comes out looking good. At the end of the day. And also because he painted it, uh, my opinion, the tolerance is actually, the tolerance is actually better, because my neck originally on the Stunnercracker was really loose. Well, I guess it's called him Skywarp now. So, uh, yeah. Um, I know Hasbro's playing like a new Seeker. Uh, I know a lot of guys are going to buy him and just call him Skywarp. I don't blame you. But uh, I, noticed that, I noticed when they did his face, they actually added a little bit of purple to it. And I got to say, uh, my cousin, Ninja Master K, he actually beat them to it. So, just saying. <laughs> Overall, thing was really, really nice. I couldn't, I couldn't be more pleased. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get transformed. Here he is in his alt mode, and I have to say, he looks wonderful. Um, there are some paint rub areas, and that's, that's mostly my fault because I'm kind of heavy handed. I can kind of tell here, like in the gears and whatnot, where, I, where, I, where I've been moving things. I think right here, the knee, right here on the side, a few little areas here and there. That's one because, like I said before, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm a little bit, I'm kind of rough with Hasbro figures. If you see me handle third party figures, I'm, I'm pretty gentle. <laughs> Almost to the same degree, but with the Hasbro I'm kind of like this. Nah, I don't care. But uh, yeah, uh, everything looks good. Even in the cockpit here, the color, but with the nose, how you start off with silver here, and just kind of had it. I think I think it get more weathering. Just how how it gets darker here, almost like the uh, the jet mode's been like through re-entry. Looks quite smashing. Yeah, I know another word I don't use on the channel, smashing. But I think I think, I think it fits. Even the back here looks, looks really good. Some more of that paint rub there. Yeah, I might have, to have him go back in there and like kind of like maybe redo it, maybe maybe have him seal it because you know, or better yet, me stop being so rough with it. <laughs> I think it looks really good. I need to go back and add some more stock symbols in here. But uh, yeah, this is the alt mode for it. If you guys couldn't tell, it's probably gonna be a really short review. I just really wanted to, to show this off. I'm actually now gonna have him. I'm actually gonna have to commission him. To make a background for me, uh, or a diorama type deal. I feel I'm getting kind of tired of, the old, of this of my whole setup here, 
And I figured, hey, you know, um, I'm a fan of IW, as everyone knows. And I kind of want to do something, um, something kind of like interplanetary. Almost kind of, almost kind of a burnt out moon or asteroid look from, from my background. I don't know if I use it for a review spot, but I'm thinking I will. But at the very least for pictures. I mean, everybody knows me from Instagram stuff. I love taking pictures of my figures. So uh, I hope we keep you guys updated on that. And here he is with his uh, Seeker brethren. Starscream and Thundercracker. I think he looks good in there with him. Uh, honestly, uh, once I put him on the shelf, you know what? I mean, I honestly don't miss my official. In a lot of ways, man, this this looks better. I know for a lot of people who are diehards, you know, they had to have the official seekers. But even given um, Earthrise, I may not buy any more of this guy. I might just go buy two more Star Screams and just have him paint them, you know? Get them down on the cheap. And to me, pound for pound, once he gets, once he gets done painting them, add his own little touches, a little better than officials. Like, straight up. So, yeah, this is, this is my new Sky Warp. Damn, he actually looks better than I do. <laughs> if anything, I need to have you guys touched up. What do you guys think? And here's a few more customs that he's done for me. To this day, I still love this uh, Roadbuster. This thing, I mean, I don't, I don't mess with, I don't mess with, with this thing enough. But it, <laughs> I'm still, I'm still so pleased with this. And don't even get me started on Cyclonus. I mean, my God, that thing was so basic before he touched it. Jesus, but yeah, um, this is a few he's already done. He did, he did my Megatron too. Uh, also my Impactor, even my Tarn. I don't want to get Tarn down, but he did a Tarn as well. And with my uh, World, I don't think I've even done a video on that, but it's more more or less it's kind of subtle. And they did panel lining, and he did a little work on the head, you know, give it a little more more detail than it had before. So yeah, this is just some of some of the work he's done. But seriously, that this Roadbuster. <laughs> I mean, I said, I said before when, when, I, when I reviewed it after he touched it up. To me, if you if you like uh, Mobile Suit Gundam at all, it just gave Roadbuster kind of a worn out, um, battle worn Zaku look. Yeah, it's awesome. It's not, oh, awesome. But anyway, back to him. Yeah. All right. Uh, as far as final thoughts go, it looks great. If I didn't know any better, I wouldn't know this was Thundercracker. Uh, he just he did a really bango job. Even with the weathering, it looks good as it always does. He even threw in um, this little stand here. I believe it went to a model kit at one point in time, but he uh, modded the tip so it can go into a my new Skywars Reptum fairly easy for what it's worth. <laughs> yeah, it looks it looks great. You know, pound for pound, this this thing's awesome. And I couldn't ask for a better uh, custom. And uh, also, if you guys like his work, which that's why I showed off a few extra things that he had done for me. Um, hit him up. Uh, I believe he does do commission work. And uh, except for his channel will be down here below. All right there, below. And uh, I don't think he has content out just yet. Uh, so hopefully soon. I know I mentioned it a couple times before and I'm always saying soon. But hopefully soon or later. Because, you know, he does good stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, totally looks awesome. Also... I gotta give my to the con family a, a shameless plug as I always do. If you're not checking them out, you're missing out. They put out good content almost every day. <laughs> so uh, I'll have all their stuff in the link below. Also, this has been wonderful. I appreciate you guys watching my video. I thank you for watching. I thank you for subscribing. I thank you for the comments. Without your guys' comments, there is no me. There's no point in me doing this if you guys don't pay me attention. So thank you all from by my heart. Also, please, uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500, hopefully before the end of the year. And I can only do it with your help. So with that being said, this is Sardom Nuspa, also known as the Black Gentleman. I right, doing God work, reviewing these customs. Till next time, peace out.